hello everyone today I am going to work on this uh, special button uh, not this one here when we stand on this button that door opens and if I leave the button in five seconds the door will be closed this way so that's what I am going to work on today you can use this mechanism to create um, different puzzles in the gameplay and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me okay so so far in here we have worked on uh, me this door connected to the lever where we can if i interact with this lever the door opens similarly here as well this door also we can open it if we interact with that lever so now i am going i want to implement an unlock mechanism for this door so when i when the character go walk on to one of these buttons the door should be the should door should open so yeah let's see how to connect that so okay first let me open this uh, one of these play button blueprints right button pressed and button release is called as the player character overlap with them and here we have on button pressed and button released all right right now let's find a way to connect this uh, this button to a door so first uh, let me open this liver blueprint because we have already implemented um, oh no liver baby child this is where we implemented it right so here also I'll create uh, no I don't think we need a child blueprint let's do the editing here right now I think it would be better to create a child class yeah play a button BP child okay open it now just like for the liver bp child i'm gonna create a new variable called connected object connected object let's make it public and change the type to actor and here we have used on liver activated VPI liver connector um, but we can use the same interface but if I use the name liver actually it's it's not suitable so but I don't, I don't have any other suitable names also so let's just keep using this I'll copy this part and here uh, what's the button pressed and button released uh, 
ah we have a finished event as well where is that called where is that used function no right but anyway let's implement it button press finished function okay now uh, when I step on this button if there is a connected object it should call only a activated function so I'll delete this liver and let's add this play button BP child here. Like this. And uh, as the connected object, I'll set this gate to. If you haven't, if you don't remember this, how did I implement this? You can refer to this unreal learning kit getting started video i did uh, previously uh, so there i have explained how did i set up this liver interface and how to make uh, the door open with that so right now this is set so if i step oh wait what is this error is necessary let me delete that I'm not sure what they are but I don't want to spend time looking for that now Why is that? What's the difference? All right, I think I have to enable this. Otherwise, it won't work. Let's see if they have enabled the these buttons. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, 
Oh wait, still not working. Let's see. Construction script. There are some stuff in construction script in the player button. Let's see. Yeah, we have connected the player and so why is it not working? Custom query only set to overlap. Let's check. Oh, this is set to no collision. Why is that? Let's see. Mm -hmm, button enabled. Right. Uh, when we enable the button, this should be called. So this enable function not working. Enable, right. Right, I'm not sure why is it changed to no collision. Let's change it back and see. Yeah, now it is working. Okay, it is calling twice. So uh, let's check. when I leave the door should be closed yeah let's use instead of this button press function that would simplify that should simplify things yeah okay now as you can see I can't really use this door use this unlock and uh, go through the door so in order to really use this what I have to do is I may have to put some kind of object on this uh, button so like uh, and then I should be able to leave keeping the door open or I can make this in such a way like to have some kind of a delay like this we can add a re-triggerable delay Sorry, not for the opening part, for the close part. 
it's a retrogradable delay the retrogradable the difference between a normal delay and a retrogradable delay is so uh, let's say we have a delay like five seconds and once this event is called in the middle of that delay let's say now in the delay we have spent two seconds if this function is called again it will be again set back to zero and wait again five seconds that's the difference uh, with the normal delay and a retrogradable delay and after the delay if um, button have a branch if button is not activated we should close because after the delay uh, after the delay character could be come back and stand in on the button after leaving so to avoid that uh, I did a check okay now we have five seconds before it is closed see quickly we can run here grab whatever we have there and come back okay and uh, I'm going to stop this episode right here so in the next episode oh, wait in the next episode I of this series I want to implement something like the character is able to pick up one of these balls and put on this button so the button will remain active until that weight is on that and then um, we can move on right thanks for watching so the project files will be available for this one here in the patron page I'm, I will not include the assets already shared for free in the Unreal Marketplace you can just copy in them into the project and I will only make the blueprints I create downloadable so that I can keep the download size low right and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the Patreon club link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye